Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a different business to help share tips and ideas about their industry. And today I have David and David, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. It's nice to be here. Sure. Why don't you explain to the viewers uh, who you are and what you do? Okay. So I am a licensed massage and bodywork therapist. I graduated from the Body Therapy Institute in Silk Hope, North Carolina, and I've been licensed for about a year and a half now and practicing private practice in Pittsburgh, North Carolina. I'm also a teaching assistant at the massage school, the Body Therapy Institute, and that's a great compliment to my practice. It continues to enrich and enliven my work with my clients. Okay, so let's get right into it. A lot of people come to you because I'm sure they're stressed out and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They have some sort of pain. Mm -hmm. What causes pain? Well, that's a good question. Um, pain is a very subjective experience. Everyone has their own experience of pain and it can only be measured by the, the person experiencing the pain. So um, I'm really interested in the neuro science of pain and how the body perceives pain because for you, a minor little ache could be, for me, an overwhelming, debilitating injury, you know? So um, we can all have our own experiences of pain and really um, what, what it is that determines that my threshold for pain is going to be my all of my history, really. So everything that I've experienced and from conception to now. And so certain events, injuries, traumas, life experiences that cause me to be maybe hypersensitive to pain or to cut off my sensations from, from my body um, can determine whether I'm suppressing the pain, suppressing the sensations, or whether I'm just so sensitized to the pain that I can't do anything else, I can't focus on anything else. And so a lot of people end up in um, either, either end of that spectrum and I find a lot of those people coming in for massage therapy and massage is a great avenue for that. Okay, wow, I never realized that pain, what causes pain question would be so detailed and so much to it. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, sure. So um, how can someone begin to experience a more positive and connected relationship with their body? Well, that's a great, that's a great question. And um, it can start with something just as simple as beginning to tune in to the body, to the sensations, to the breath. And so we can even try something together um, with the viewer, with Jeff, if, if you're interested. And one of the ways we can start is just by softening our eyes. So I'm going to explain how that works. It's kind of a weird idea, but it's really simple and practical when you try it. So what we're going to do is instead of looking directly out at you, at the camera, at this thing in front of me, I'm going to soften my eyes. I'm going to really just focus on taking in the whole scope of my vision. And this, just in itself, can relax the nervous system and take that edge off of the tension, the strain that I'm feeling right now. And there's a little spontaneous breath. I'm beginning to really relax into my body. Uh, that spontaneous breath is a good sign that I'm relaxing. And I can begin to tune into my breath and notice, you know, how, how it's coming into my body. Where is it traveling? Is it filling up in my abdomen, my lower back, my shoulders? Just noticing with passive curiosity. And I begin to also tune into where in my body does it feel good? Do I feel warmth anywhere? Do I, my hands might feel a little warm and tingly when I tune into them. My feet, perhaps. Could be different for everyone. So that's uh, just one basic way of beginning to feel the aliveness and the goodness in your body that is basic to everyone and is your inherent right. So feel free to try that out and see how it works for you. So if you can explain a little bit about softening the eyes, am I supposed to let everything kind of get blurred or mm. just notice more of my peripheral vision? Mm. Okay, good question. Not necessarily blurry. It's just um, more of peripheral vision, I would say, too. So you're taking in 
what's out here. I'm trying to notice that. Taking in what's out here and what's out here and widening the scope. So, in, so it's a really kind of a receiving what's in front of me instead of a focusing in on what's in front of me. Okay, good. Um, it's kind of like how maybe a child might look at the world, um, really taking it all in. Um, and it softens the whole system. It makes us more available for information from outside and from our bodies. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I, I did just do this briefly, and it's just a brief couple of seconds I was doing, and I did feel a, a, a sense of just being more aware of myself. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So nice, nice, nice little Great. trick or, or uh, yeah. I don't know what you want to call it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a trick, you know, yeah. and um, meditators have been practicing it for thousands of years. Mm. And, and the neuroscience is starting to catch up with these ancient techniques that have been useful for people for a long time. Mm. And now we know that it relaxes the nervous system. Awesome. Great. Well, one last question I want to ask you. What is a practice that, that someone could do to release built up stress or tension in the midst of our busy work day um, or high pressure sit situation? Okay. So in addition to the things that I just taught, um, including softening the eyes, focusing on the breath, and just paying attention to the sensations of the body with curiosity, with openness, um, there's a great practice I learned called horse breath. And um, you may think it sounds like a horse, maybe like, but it's not quite like that. So that's actually a good one though, you know, it's a pretty good one. But um, the horse breath that I learned is, um, I'll actually demonstrate it and then we can um, do it together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inhale and raise my arms over my head. And then I'm gonna make a shoo sound and drop my arms down to my sides. Shoo. Okay, so you wanna try that together? Sure. Okay, so, we, so let's raise our arms up. Breath in and shoo. And so what I notice in my body when I do that is just this sense of maybe a little rush of energy, a little bit of tingling, a little bit more lightness in my body. And you can kind of imagine even just taking all those pressures building up around us, all the things we're worried about, and shoo, just releasing them all and resetting. It's a way of resetting. Yeah, I mean, I felt uh, tingling from my shoulders on down to my fingers, but also a, a, like a, almost like a release in my shoulder area. So pretty cool. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty cool stuff. So. <laughs> All right, David. Well, that's all we have time for today. I appreciate you coming in. And uh, if any of you out there that are interested in learning more about David and his techniques or want to work with David, check out his website at the end of this video. And if you would like to continue this conversation online, feel free to add a comment to the box below. That's all we have for this time. Until next week, take care and bye-bye.